Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Babi here and today, different from the other videos, I want to bring you guys to home, to my home, to the kitchen and I'll show you guys how I prepare my fish, my white fish, when I'm prepping and also when I'm not in prep. It's, uh, it's, a, it's honestly, that's the same flavor for me. It doesn't matter if you're in prep or not. It's just a, a healthier way to prepare your fish, but bring you flavors and everything. Um, so if you guys don't know, I'm from Brazil and growing up in Brazil, watching my mom cooking, um, gave me a lot of passion from flavor, um, especially like being prep, I can't eat if the food doesn't have a flavor. I can not eat carbs, I can eat, if I have chew, I, have, I can't eat chicken all day, I can't eat fish all day, but it has to have flavor. Uh, and I'm grateful for learning with my mom growing up and watching that. And uh, it's little things, but I just want to show you guys. So we have a um, fish uh, recipe in Brazil that calls moqueca. It's uh, one of my favorite plates in Brazil. If you're ever in Brazil, please look for a restaurant and ask for Brazilian moqueca. If you like seafood, it's the best thing ever. And you can have a fish or a uh, shrimp and all the goodies. Uh, what I do, um, I just bring the moqueca in a healthy way where I can eat every day in prep, but I can feel a little bit that I'm eating a nice food that I grow up with. So this is a moqueca that I wanna show you guys. Uh, it's a healthy, so it's a feed moqueca, prep friendly. Uh, here I have uh, the white fish. So I've been trying white fish and uh, that's been a biggest challenge for me. It's find a good fish that it's not too fishy. It doesn't taste too strong and also doesn't make me feel tired of eating that. Um, so I already try um, what is that one? Orange Roffy? That's one year that I was eating raw orange raw all year. I tried orange Roffy today, I can't even smell it because uh, the flavor is a little bit strong for me. But I would really recommend it's a great fish, it's just got me tired. Um, I already tried Mahi Mahi, um, Swim, 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 right? Sway, 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 Sway Mahi, Mahi um, Tilapia. tilapia. And uh, the red snapper, it's like one of my favorite flavors. Actually, that is the best fish, on my opinion, is the Branzino. It's an Italian fish, but unfortunately, it's really, really... Actually, I never found in groceries. So, it's what I have here is the best option so far is the red snapper. So, I'm trying the red snapper now. I can't find fresh fish too in Miami yet. I don't know where there's a fresh fish in Miami. If you guys know where's the fresh fish in Miami, please help me find. What I do, I buy these frozen ones and uh, I just unfroze the day. Unfroze? Unfreeze. <laughs> I just unfreeze the day, um, the day that I'm gonna cook. Okay, so that's the fish. There's a two packets here. It's probably one, ki one kilo and a half. Um, of fish. I'm gonna use um, uh, peppers, the red peppers. Red, red and green peppers. Red, red and green bell peppers. Red and green bell peppers, tomatoes, onion, and the secret the garlic. Never found, never, never, never gonna miss my food and my meals garlic and onions. That's where, that's what I grow up with, and that's what brings all the flavors to home, from home. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm gonna start here, uh, add a little lime, and while I'm cutting everything else, I let the lime Oh, Let's go stuff the onions. So don't judge me <laughs> the way I cut my things. I'm not Gordon Hampson. Ramsey. <laughs> Ramsey. But um, um, I tried my best. It's the Brazilian cutting. I don't even I don't even know if you can call this Brazilian because I don't want to I don't want the people think that that's the way the Brazilian people cut. cut. It's just my own way. <laughs> cut like your mom. I mean, I've been watching um, um, Gordon um, tricks 
to cook, but honestly, I can get all. I can I can learn like that. It's not as easy, but I do. I don't think people know how much of a fan of Gordon Ramsay you are. We are. <laughs> we are actually really fan of him, and, <laughs> and like especially in prep. I don't know why we love watch his YouTube videos teaching um, cooking and like recipes. Um, it's a great channel actually. It's an inspiration. But uh, yeah, we're really fan. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know actually because a lot of people I comment about. God, and a lot of people just know him from the, the TV shows, but he has a great YouTube channel. It's really like it makes you keep watching, watching. There's a lot of videos, a lot of tips um, to like home, like things you can do in home, and that's why I think we like him a lot, right? Because we mm -hmm. learn a lot of things like seasoning, everything, everything. and uh, he always uses garlic and onion too. Yeah. <laughs> Every food that he uses, he use garlic and onion it's the base he use a lot of butter though i can do that <laughs> uh, so yeah um this is another i think he, he gave this this tip too right to press the garlic yeah. i love this because it's so easy and uh honestly i don't like when i cut the the garlic i don't like the, the way it smells in my hand so i just prefer that so yeah let's start I'm um, gonna use the spray oil um, and then we just, I don't know how it, it's chopped, press, squeeze, it's like press it, press the garlic, press. the onions are cut, it. the garlic is still there um, and I'm gonna here start cutting the, the bell peppers. Um, this is actually one way we learn of a, of a with him watching his videos. I love the way like it helps <laughs> a lot of things. I'm not like a, I'm really like passionate for food, but not like, a, like I don't know how like really like cut things and techniques, but I like flavor. And I just think it's really important for uh, an athlete or even if you're not an athlete, if you are, if you want to have a lifestyle, like a better lifestyle, the biggest thing I, I feel like uh, the biggest uh, step is stop to ordering food. Ordering food is like you're going to end up eating something that is not healthy. So once one thing that I believe that for people that want to start having a better uh, lifestyle and eating better and also like start seeing difference in your body as even like a bloody way, it's start cooking your own food um, and can be fun. Even like being prep, you still can make something fun too. I'm not saying to guys that oh I don't like to order food. We love to order food, and uh, we love to explore restaurants. I love food. I love restaurants. But um, like when we can, like when in off season, we treat ourselves like once a week. But uh, if you order every day, let's be honest. So if you order every day, <laughs> you open the app, you don't even feel eating anything. <laughs> like. I remember when we one time that we in off season and we're not even like uh, cooking a lot and we are almost every day and like I don't even feel like eating anything. We scroll because you don't even know what you want to eat because you like it, it's overwhelmed too. So it's fun like when you you give your treat once a week. So is a uh, is my Julienne cut? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> it's pretty good though. I did good. Um, yeah, so the garlic is good. I'm gonna add the onions. So, onion in, garlic in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the tomatoes. 
The tomatoes for this food I like a little bigger. So I just slice it like that. I don't like it too small. And um, because it's a, it's a stew fish, a muqueca is basically a stew fish. Um, but believe me, the real muqueca has so much more than that, than what I'm doing here. But uh, uh, honestly, it really reminds me. Like, remember, Bell, you already ate the real moqueca in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And it really reminds, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's similar. And uh, I like the fish this way because it, it never dry. So it's always like a moist. It helps me eat and also digest better. Um, I don't like a dry food. But it's not like suck, like, like soup. It's just not dry food, and I prefer that. Especially the days that I don't have a carbs. I only have the fish. Oops, don't, don't do that. So now I'm just gonna season the, the fish a little bit. It's already good with the lime. Salt, a little bit of pepper, and this paprika. I'm gonna put my hands because it's gonna be a mess. I found this paprika mix in um, Chij Max actually. Chij Max is a great place to find seasoning stuff. Um, and I really like this one. So seasoning a little bit and then I just going to add the fish here. So I create like a bed of tomato and onion. Now I just lay the fish on this bed and I add the peppers. The bell peppers. It smells good. He don't say that. I'm gonna say that. It smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> that make me hungry. I think because today I am hungry. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, um, this is really fast. I'm talking a lot, but usually I do this in like 10 minutes, 15. Just cut stuff and put in a, in a, in a, in a skillet. It's pretty basic. I like to leave low. So probably like here, three and low level um, and I just close the pot and let it cooking um, I'm I don't know how many minutes I'm gonna count now so it's 729 now let's see how many minutes until that I see that it's like it's cooking so that's why I like to cook it slow it gets more flavor and the fish doesn't get um, chewy like doesn't get chewy this way so you just leave it low the bed is there with um, the tomato, you don't need to add water because the, the onion and the tomato is going to create the sauce and it's already enough for the fish. So just leave it that and we're going to check later. But guys, past like 15 minutes uh, and uh, I see that it's basically, if you guys can see now, it looks like cooked or almost cooked. Um, so I just going to flip. All the fish is around now. The fish. Leave cooking probably more 10 minutes in this way and uh, it's done. There it is. The Brazilian fit moqueca. Uh, this is the recipe. It's simple, it tastes good, it's prep friendly. Uh, and it's ready. I'm going to eat now actually, but uh, yeah guys I just want to bring everything that I do to you guys as I say before So I hope you guys try this recipe try the the food and uh, if you guys like it Leave your comment. Let me know what you guys want to see too But I also have a lot of ideas to bring to you guys I want to share everything that I do that can help in your journey fitness or not um, Competing or not in your fitness journey. I'll be here to help you guys
I have a carbs in this meal, so I'm just doing the fish, a little bit of spinach, and I have a fats, 90 grams of avocado. Um, so yeah, when I have a carbs, I love with rice, and if you can, you can do like a healthy mashed potato, and eat with potato, it's amazing too. Or you can do your potato in air fry, like you slice the potato and put it in air fry, it's amazing with the fish. So you can do a lot of combinations, but today I don't have a carbs, but I'm happy with this one.